Hi, we're Sam and Kat. I'm Sam and this idiot here is Kat. And we've been making videos on and off for the last four years, documenting our days out and further travels. You also might notice that we love food and animals. Welcome to the channel. Sit back, enjoy, and don't forget to subscribe for future videos. This week, we have a walk round Yorkshire Wildlife Park. And Cat needs rescuing at Chapel Point. Hey, big. Hey. Facebook Reels. What? Reels. I don't know what you're saying. You just keep saying Reels. Or is it YouTube Reels? What's on Facebook? Reels. Reels. There you go then. Is it animals? Likes the animals. Likes the animals. She loves the animals. You like animals? I do, I live with one. Cheers. Who's left the label on the glasses for it? Jesus Christ. There we are. Filming on my phone. Someone forgot the memory card out of the camera. What's this guy up to? Then? Do you like him? Too cool, aren't you? Chilling in the pool. That's a big rat you're looking at there.
Dutch Wildlife Park. You seen three animals. One of them's here. <laughs> This one's going to turn into an animal if we don't get a drink soon. But yeah, I wouldn't bother coming in the middle of the day because all the animals hide from me. So yesterday, we went to Woodside Falconry. No, we didn't. Yesterday, we went to Yorkshire Wildlife Park. What did you think to it? Well, we only saw a couple of giraffes and a fucking armadillo or something. Two giraffes. No, it was a, what was it, anteater. No. No, it was an armadillo. Armadillo. Two giraffes, an armadillo and two zebras. So, yeah, it wasn't very good at all. Um, I not... think it was too hot and all the animals were shading. Even so, I wouldn't advise going to Yorkshire Wildlife Park in warm weather in the middle of the day. So they had three slots that we had to book tickets for. We went kind of middle ground, um, 11 o'clock. Should have done the early and we, one. Yeah, we was, well, we was late there for the 11 o'clock one. We what? didn't we didn't get there well, well just before one o'clock because we had to stop for food, obviously. But uh, yeah, so yeah, it wasn't very good at all, really. Um, but it got us out of the house. But anyway, today we're going to go to the coast. We're just waiting for the Hello Fresh box to be delivered, and then we're going to hit the road, and we're heading to Chapel St Leonard's. Chapel St Leonard's. I'm going to get myself a nice cold beer on that seafront. It's it's either food or beer. No, it isn't. Was the last it, time I had beer? <laughs> No. What do you mean when was the last time you had beer? Well, it's not food or beer. It's not very often now I'm having beer. I've, I've got a day off for my hard-earned work. Anyway, we're going to Chapel St Leonard's in the car shortly. So we'll catch you there. So the LA Fresh Box was late. So we've come out to put a bit of charge in the car, pick up a few bits while we're waiting. We've snagged a quick McDonald's. Done. Got to be done. So we're here at Chapel St Leonard's. On the beach, so I hope it's not too windy. She's looking up. Sugar ring donuts. Because. Where's your drain? In my bag. Oh. Well, it does feel a little bit windy today, to be honest, dear. And flags are blustery a lot. Yeah, get it up. A steady stroll well, way, along. I like it here because it's not very work, not very busy. Mm. But it is a bit windy. I uh, always like these nice chalets when we come to the seaside. Do you think? Oh, yeah, Chalets. Like <clears throat> well they are, yeah, but they're, they're nice to leave your things in. I mean, I think these are all privately owned ones on them, but, but yeah, look. Seeing this more and more now. There was that bit on the at Skegness where that, all the dog muck piled up, but people were bagging it up and dropping it, but they weren't getting picked up and they just piled up and piled up. Disgusting. Yeah, so... Yeah, but that wasn't the people's fault. People were picking it up, weren't they? Yeah, that's what I mean. That's exactly it. <clears throat> like, there is a bin here and not like, you know, but it's just... Well, that's just a waste of it. That's not dog bin. How often it gets emptied, though, in it and stuff, so... So she's going to cark out now. She's having a hypo. And uh, we've managed five minutes. We're hoping we get to Chapel Point. Well. Because the moor and I haven't brought anything with her. Well. So we're going out where we could end up in the middle of nowhere. The and she's got no provisions with her at all. The orange juice is in the car. What say you? 
I actually, I always have something with me, but the orange juice is in the door of the car in case I had a hard one in the car and I forgot to bring it out the door. No good there, is it? That's what you'd say to me. But these are all privately owned. I think. Hold along now, but very nice. Feeling happy again there? Get in there. Happier? Happier, yeah. Mm. I didn't think she was going to make it for a minute. Here she was moaning, look. Anyway, the history of Chapel Point. With the advent of the motor car, travelling to the seaside became a popular pastime. Obviously there weren't the traffic on the road that there is now then. But anyway, there we are. Chapel Point. I'm assuming. This is the point. point. But how great would that be? Arriving into the car park there, walking up the path at the back, and having one of them chalets, because they're all privately owned. That'd be pretty wicked, wouldn't it? That'd be the ultimate seaside. How are you feeling, Bird? I'm cold, I've got a headache and I feel sick. Happy days. Drone to show the nice people that saved you from your hypo with a bit of cake yeah. and a cup of tea and two cartons of orange juice and a bottle of coke. But there you are, yeah, it's uh, I think what is it, the sea, Seascape Calf mm. at Chapel Point. Very nice girls. Helped us out quite quickly, didn't we? Mm. They did. They did. But it's really choppy and windy around here anyway, so I had the drone up, but I was getting warnings and stuff like that, so I pulled it down. So. Um, it is quite windy here. There's some crazy people in the sea. So we'll just uh, start to take a little stroll back down the seafront, I think. Hmm. Kath, found your chalet. Yeah, but I don't know what they're riding in here. Nana Wombles. I don't know what they're riding in there. That's all a bit too much. Look at this. This, this has got a shop front shutter. Jesus. Hey, there's another one for you. <coughs> when you've gone and stopped moaning, that wind will be less. <laughs> yeah, windbag. What moaning windbag? I've seen a windbag with a rucksack on before. <laughs> I'm going to take a steady stroll back down here now. You can't come out your back into the sea, look. She's never happy, the woman, never happy. I thought your beachfront property, look, overlooking the sea Have for the week. You know, just that? a weekend house. No, it's too no. cold. If you brought me a nice here, I wouldn't be happy, would I? <laughs> well, I would be happy with this. Well, why wouldn't you be? Oh, look at it. 
Yeah, but it... <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it would be better than nothing, wouldn't it? That's what yeah. I'm saying. I'd rather have nothing. I literally would. But I don't want to come out of the back of my house to what? Grass. Great. And you can't get to the beach. Nice. No. Never happy. Never happy. Can you come to the coast and not have fish and chips? What time is it? I don't know. Without getting my... Oh, sorry mate. Sorry. You alright? Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, just coming up quarter to five. So, do we get fish and chips or not? I think, I think it'd be rude not to, wouldn't it? So the drama continues. So we never bothered bringing me a wallet or anything or a card because I thought you can pay for everything on your phone these days. Really not. And we get to the chippy and they don't take card. Chinese chippy. I think we've had a lucky escape. And so we've been through the whole debacle of withdrawing money from the ATM using the mobile app and we can't figure that out either. In this day and age, at Seaside Resort, and it's a, a big shop, you'd think, wouldn't you, that you'd be able to do it, really. No mind, it is what it is. Let's go and find somewhere else. Mission accomplished. Yeah. Finally found somewhere. So we're fed and watered. Well, thank God we're going home now. Yeah. Yesterday I decided to order myself a new, another new drone, one of the latest ones out. Starting a new channel basically. It's going to be predominantly about drones, droning channel. I'm, I'm really into me droning. Catherine's not really that into it really. So uh, we've decided that we'll keep the vlogging channel and stuff like that, you know. And obviously there'll be some drone shots on there. But I thought I'd, I would do uh, a second channel, predominantly about drones, um, which will consist of unboxings, tutorials, um, probably some shots of, uh, you know, drone shots, drone cinematic stuff. Not so much range tests, there might be a bit of range on them, but um, you, you need spotters and stuff like that. And like I say, Catherine's not really into it. Probably will be on my own a lot of the time, so range tests, not so much. It's a bit of an expense to start it, obviously obviously having to you know buy some gear and stuff like that, but um, I've got my drone. My drone's been out sort of like a year or so, so a lot of videos and stuff like that have already been done on it. But I thought, yeah, I'll buy, I'll buy the latest drone out and do some tutorials on that. They're all pretty much the same, but they're, they're what people search for. Yeah, similar, very similar features to what mine's got now, so I'm, I'm well tuned up on it sort of thing. So uh, yeah, I thought I'd just get one. It's sub 250 grams. So whereas mine's a bit more robust and, and, and you know, it's it's probably a little bit better quality and, and able to manage win in, in higher winds and things like that. This one's more of, um, it, you can pretty much bang it up anywhere. So it's, uh, it's, it's an added bonus to have it in the bag, definitely. And who knows, I might even be that impressed with it. It might become my predominant drone. I may even sell the other one. You know, if, if this one's kind of like, you know, more more capable than, than I, I'm thinking, then who knows, I might even, um, like I say, I might even keep it and, and sell the other one or something and um, find new workflow, if you like, you know what I mean, and, and things that can give me that new workflow. Um, so maybe it'll be time to maybe even pass that one on, even though I've not had it very long. It's been out a year or so, 18 months, something like that, but... We'll, we'll see what we're doing, you know what I mean? I'm starting a new channel, I wanted something where I could sort of like produce five to ten videos that I can just, you know, bang five out straight away to start the channel with, just to give the channel some some meat to begin with, uh, with a view of sort of like having five, five to ten videos ready to go, scheduled to go up in the future as well, just to give me a little bit of time to get started. Thinking of doing it in the style of a, like a cartoon, so it's not just me, if you like, you know what I mean? I've, I've got a bit of a, a cat and glasses type thing going on, you know, and it's quite easy for me to put like a cartoon style thing on, you know what I mean? And, and I can, um, yes, put a little bit of a twist on it so it's not just someone rabbiting on about stuff or some people you just see hands doing unboxings and things like that, you know, I just thought it'd be something a little bit different, a little bit more interesting. 
I may even create a little bit of a website or something like that, you know, depending on how much time I've got really, because obviously with the other channel and vlogging and going out and Catherine don't want to be sat bored watching me do stuff, you know, so we actually enjoy the days out and, and the reason why we started this channel. But yeah, it'd be uh, maybe, maybe develop a bit of a website around it, um, which could be a base for both channels, to be fair. Uh, but somewhere where you can just download files like LUTs and things like that, you know, where uh, you can colour grade, put a put a grade layer on on drone footage and stuff like that, and correct little correction layers and things like that, just just to give a little bit of extra. You know what I mean with the um, with the drone tutorials and stuff like that. You know, you can link it into and some people, you know, you put freebies out. But some people actually pay for stuff like that as well. So you know, who who knows? You know, could YouTube be a full time job for me? I doubt it. But like I say, that, that little bit, um, if you can develop an income, a little bit of an income off it, it helps fund things like Days Out or, you know, when the next greatest and latest uh, drone comes out, you know what I mean? It, it helps fund buying that, you know, and justifying buying that so that you can keep creating uh, new content, new and fresh content. Today's a bit of a washout. Um, lovely day yesterday. Cooler at the coast than it was here. It was 29 degrees here or something like that, you know what I mean? But it was only like 21, 22 degrees at the coast. There's a lovely cool breeze coming in, which made me stroll along the beach uh, a lot more manageable. But today, you know, it was, again, it was tipped, tipped to be hot. Certainly no rain, but it's rain today and it's, it's a bit overcast and a bit, you know, still warm. So it's a bit muggy. So yeah, the new drone and everything was supposed to be coming today. It's not, it's coming tomorrow now. So today's kind of like been a bit of a washout and gave me a chance to kind of think about what it is I'm going to do and plan some videos and stuff like that get a bit in the get a bit of planning in the noddle yeah like I say bit of a bit of a washout bit of a miserable day really uh, but it gives me a rest day as well because like I say I can't be doing too much with my back and stuff like that you know I've had a couple of days now where I've had a wander out and a stroll around Catherine seems to think she woke up in the night and was both uncovered because it was warm so we'd both kick the covers off and that don't suit me very well either with a bad back to be honest with you yeah I don't I don't I, don't, I need to keep my back covered up so uh, a rest day is probably a good thing. In the meantime, I'm just hanging with my mate. Catherine likes some strange stuff. So the last couple of days, I've been setting up a second channel, a droning channel. Just gonna keep the two uh, separate, but linked if you know what I mean, so there'll be a link to the other channel in the banner of this one, page banner of this one, and on the about page. I've been out and done a bit of film. I've done a couple of unboxings and a bit of filming, stuff like that, you know what I mean? Um, so I've kind of edited them up rough, just to whack on the ch on the second channel, just to get it started, really. It's looking good. I've, I've redesigned the banner, very similar to this one, but just a little bit different, more drone related. And obviously some uh, new profile pictures and graphics and stuff like that. So yeah, it's been a bit of a busy day uh, because the, this is this is more kind of me and Catherine sort of thing, like you know. And there's only so much time in a week when we're both working full time, uh, busy lives and stuff like that. So there's that. But then I get a lot of time separate when when there isn't really anything to do. Catherine's not really into droning, so I thought the second channel I'd just go out, fly the drone, do me thing come back, sit, edit it up rough and just whack it on a second channel. <laughs> That's the new blighter. So as you can see it's tiny, fits in the palm of my hand. 249 grams. The bonus of that is when we go out, I can pretty much fly that anywhere. I'm not bound by a lot of the restrictions that are out there now. Uh, so I can pretty much fly this wherever I like, as long as I take off from public land, not not private land. Like I say, it lets me uh, gives me access to more places um, without restriction, but it also is smaller and less powerful. So therefore, if it's a windy day or or there's there's a, there's a wind, then that's the restriction. Really, you have to be careful where you're flying it. Just a little, uh, little update there. Very good, very nice. So that's where we're going to end it this week. Catherine's gone out into town with her daughter because it's going to be really hot as well. Like you know, you know they don't get much chance to spend together. So they've gone out into town, um, and with our other family stuff going on as well. So 
Uh, that's where we're going to call it a day this week. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the video. And if you do, give it a thumbs up. Um, like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. See you guys. Bye. Made me laugh. No, I can't just do it. You have to wait a minute till I've stopped. Keep there with the camera. <laughs> well, this is going to take a minute or two to pass. in this point. <laughs> oh god. Alright, go on then. Go on then. <laughs> I can't say it. <laughs>